Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot here with a board game vlog, and I have a couple games to talk about today, uh, Doomtown and Lap Dance, and also an announcement, I am heading to BGGCon in November, so all of you lovely people who are going to be at BGGCon, and, and SN for that matter, if you're going to be there, please let me know, we'll say hello, we'll high five or hug or play a game or something. So I will be there all five days. Um, I'm heading in and I'm demoing for one company. So I'll have something to do for parts of the days, which is great, like a little routine. Um, but please say hello, say, say something. Um, and if you use anything but your face on your Twitter profile, please let me know what your Twitter handle is. That way I will know who you are. <laughs> You'd be surprised how handy that is. Um, as far as new games go, I've been woefully behind but playing a lot of kind of replaying older games lately. However, last night um, Doomtown came in, so now I did not get my pretty copy. I got the regular retail copy. My pretty copy unfortunately might have gone missing from the company I ordered it from. So their palette might have actually get, gotten stolen or lost. So I bought a regular one. What I figure is if the premium copy becomes available later, I might purchase that and maybe eBay or give this one away. So you guys let me know if you're going to want this. I will totally send it out. I just probably would need help with shipping because, ooh, shipping. Um, but the base deck, so this is an old Deadlands card game. It's now its own LCG. And the base deck comes with four pre-made decks that you can just kind of put on the table and play and also deck building rules that I know very, very little about. So um, it's a really interesting little game though. It's got some ter territory control and the way that you resolve conflicts in the game is by playing like poker hands that you manipulate with different abilities on the table. Um, you can see that the cards have uh, a symbol in the corner, so this is a three of hearts, but the deck though it is 52 to I think 55 cards, um, it's not like four threes of four different suits, it's whatever you built into it and there's just a limited number of the same card that you can put in there. So I can put multiple three of hearts in there, but I think it's only like, you can only have three of the same exact card. Because when the same card comes up in your hand, if you have two three of hearts and you use them in a poker hand, your opponent has this opportunity to use cheat in effects, which are on cards and they give them distinct advantages. So if they're caught cheating, they get to do other things. Um, interesting little game. Our first game of it, I went for just control points on these different cards and we didn't notice and we were just about to start another round and I'm like, wait, 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 let's count control points right now. And I had just totally won on accident. So we're, we're all looking forward to us playing this some more and getting better at it. Um, the deck building and everything, I'm, I'm I'm a little scared of because I'm so bad at deck building unless it's something like magic, so we'll see how that goes. <sighs> and the last thing I'll talk about a little bit was, um, I don't know if you guys saw, Artipia did a board game. They, they released the cover of it. It's called Lap Dance. So this is a stripping game that's coming out at SN for pickup. Um, but now I don't have moral objections. I actually think it's cool. They did a different theme. It's not building a castle. It's not running away from zombies. But, in, because they're trying to scandalize everything, they've only released the cover. There's nothing on the gameplay. There's one very, very outdated non-English preview that compared it to Puerto Rico and then said, well, they got rid of that and it's now a card game. Um, so if you're going to make a stripping game and you actually made a cool game out of it, then release the rules. Don't do this like publicity bonanza where you're just trying to rile everyone up. Um, it's it's just so lame. I'm like, ugh, just release the rules because I'll play it. I'm definitely going to look at it at Essen. I just think it's super silly for them to not only just not encourage people to look at the rules, but just not release them. They could easily just put a set of rules online so we can actually see if the game has any kind of value and then let us decide whether or not the theme actually makes a difference. <laughs> this was my gripe. I understand it and everything. I, I get why they did it, but I still get to complain because that's what I do. Uh, it was nice to talk to you guys again. I will see you in the next couple days. Bye!